Hey guys, this is Vesel from the Bidens, and today I have a very important update for you on the Inflation Reduction Act. So the Inflation Reduction Act passed in August of 2022, and it allocates 80 billion for different priorities such as um, climate and carbon, different tax credits related to, to green energy, and 45 billion towards the IRS enforcement. So, like, so, so 80, 80 billion to the IRS, 45 billion of which goes to the IRS enforcement. So, once that act passed, people it spawned a lot of questions about what does it really mean? Does it mean that the IRS agents are gonna come and knock on people's door? And people started blowing it out of proportions. However, we did we did need an exact plan, a roadmap of what's going to happen with the 80 billion and how the IRS is going to use that 80 billion. So the, secre the, so the, so the uh, uh, Secretary of the Treasury called on the IRS to produce the plan of, of, of how the IRS is, is intends to use the funds. The IRS called different stakeholders, including the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, to comment on the proposed ways of using the funds. So one of the one of the comments that came from the AICPA was that only three billion goes towards upgrades and modernization of different IT and software systems, such as uh, uh, impacting the ability of the IRS to answer the phone calls. Because we know for the last three years the IRS service was horrible because the IRS was really overwhelmed, issuing different refunds different claims so they had a really hard time answering the phone calls now the the taxpayer advocate erin collins did did a report the other day and she said yeah we took some people from processing tax returns and we placed them on answering the phone calls so now the phone service got better but there is but but the but, but there is but there is backlog continuing backlog of the tax returns so we talk about the tension and trade-offs so one of the comments AICP, AICPA made was since the answering the phone by the IRS is so important for the taxpayers and practitioners, why don't we use portion of that 45 billion towards modernizing answering the phone calls and improving the service of the IRS? Well, uh, the, uh, the, the, the other day on Thursday, the IRS published 150-page strategic plan about the uses of that 80 billion. And, and this shows that the IRS is actually moving in the direction of expanding that 80 billion. So it's, it's, it's real, you know, it's really happening. And, and it's unprecedented because the first time in the US history, the IRS has money to make a 10-year projection and budget of how to use the funds for the first time in history. Because the IRS was so severely underfunded, they usually wouldn't have enough staff or resources to implement different initiatives. Now for the first time, the IRS is really focusing on, the, on, on allocating this 80 billion funds and hiring 100,000 100, 100, IRS agents in the next 10 years. What does it mean for the enforcement? Well, it means that we are definitely moving in that direction. The enforcement is going to happen, and you see the steps such as that 150-page strategic plan that came out on Thursday. So what do we do when we have tax issues, unsolved tax issues? My recommendation to start solving it now before the IRS starts, uh, commits and start, starts using the funds for more enforcement action it's easier to resolve at this stage when the IRS still has less funds. So you can use this window of opportunity to, 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 have, to have a leg up and start early and be that early bird who still gets in the window of resolving the case now before the IRS commits the funds and starts actively using on the enforcement action. So my encouragement to you to get, get working in your case Get, get in touch with the professional who can help you resolve your tax situation and clear the slate even before it gets to the point where the IRS is using that $45 billion for enforcement action. Thank you for listening, guys, and cool bees.